Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Creation Power Part 5. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans chapter 1 verse 20. What excuse will a taste give to God when they see him come in the clouds of heaven, when they see the sky roll back as a scroll, when they see that the hills are skipping and the mountains are moving out of their places in fact flying and they see the son of man coming with power and great glory what would those who have denied his existence say the bible says they will call upon the rocks to fall upon them they will shout for the mountains to crush them to hide them from the face of him who sits upon the throne the reason is because god's presence god's existence is quite obvious very obvious if we see a building we know that it requires a builder in fact an architect and a builder if we see design we automatically know that there must be a designer when we see a computer when we see something that has a purpose that has been designed to fulfill a purpose we immediately know that there must be a designer when we see something that must have been created to fulfill a purpose we know there is a mind behind it when we see creation of course we know there is a creator but because People don't want to be accountable to God. They don't want to be responsible to God. They become deliberately ignorant. They are ignorant, but they are not ignorant without excuse. And that's why Paul is saying in our text today, he says the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. How do we see them being understood by the things that are made? Even his eternal power. We can feel his power. When we look at the sky, in the stars to the sky, we know that there is a God. When we look at the flower, the rose petals, when we look at the birds and the way they are designed to fly, the aerodynamics, which man is barely trying to copy. When we look at these things, we know that there is a God in heaven. And then if we take time to study his word, and we study the prophecies. We know there is no other way of interpreting those prophecies other than the fact that there is a divine hand that has brought this world into existence and has given us the Bible. God wants you to be responsible. He doesn't want you to deny responsibility, accountability, and become deliberately ignorant. God wants you to acknowledge him. To acknowledge him and be blessed today because there will be no excuse god wants you to choose him to choose common sense he has given you brains to think and he knows that you are capable of reasoning from cause to effect you can see and you can know that there is a god if you decide to be deliberately ignorant there will be no excuse for you when god shows up let us pray that when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, the very God who has put us in this place, who created us in the first place, we will not be running away from him. We will embrace him. We will be glad and know that we have given our lives to him. Our Father in heaven, a listener today is in danger of falling into the delusion of evolution, the emptiness of atheism, the foolishness of not using one's brains. Lord, I pray today that you will save the listener, save your son, your daughter. Lord, as we look at creation, 
as we look at a book we know that the book was written by someone who has a mind that the ink that's used did not fall from the sky and just platter on the paper and arrange itself and we know that the things you have created are more orderly more arranged than the book that anyone has written like a dictionary or something when we look at the dna we know that that's what we see we know it is it's like a binary code language code itself more complex far more complex than that but there are those who are beginning to deny the obvious children have been taught from childhood in schools to deny the creator they say the world came by itself but the evidence oh lord it points the other direction and the devil is not relenting from childhood up to the highest level of education in the world riddled with this evolutionary force evolutionary thinking and so lord i pray that you will rescue your children from that emptiness and help that we will submit to you submit our minds to you our lives to you our everything to you and live lives that are pleasing to you so that when you come again in the clouds of heaven we will not be like those who have become reprobates who are beginning to twist the order of creation just to suit their carnal nature who are beginning to to stray away from what is obvious help us lord today give us grace give us more meaning in our lives in jesus name we pray amen